Hello everyone, Chef Kimberly here with my good friend, Chef David. Hello, Hi. Back. Hi, say hi to everyone. So we're at Purge Costa Mesa today where we just installed the brand new, beautiful 400 series Gaganel steam oven. Today we'll be showcasing a nice fall, um, but you know, holiday inspired, but you could do it all year long uh, menu today. What do we have going on today, Chef David? Um, we have a variety of great things. Uh, first off, we have a creme anglaise, and the creme anglaise is beautiful, velvety, delicious. Uh, uh, we'll be doing that sous vide. And so this is going to take approximately 50 minutes. Uh, and all I have to do is just kind of lightly mix my ingredients together and then put it in our sous vide bag. Um, just pop that in the oven at 180 degrees for 50 minutes. And all I have to do is agitate the bag maybe once during the cooking period. Uh, once that's done, uh, I, I throw it into uh, uh, some ice water. Uh, just bring it to a cooler temperature, pop it in the refrigerator, maybe overnight. This can be done ahead of time. Yeah, right, so you could do this the day before, I Absolutely. don't know, say like a holiday party or, you know, Thanksgiving party. Absolutely, and, uh, and you have essentially your prepared ice cream uh, base. Uh, which you can actually flavor it in any way that you like, but we're just gonna stick with vanilla today. Yeah, that's gonna go on top of a really nice galette that I'm gonna be doing later on today. Oh yeah, we didn't mention that. We forgot about dessert. That's right. It's a dessert. surprise. Who it's a surprise. <laughs> um, it's a galette we're doing with pears and some blackberries, this beautiful chocolate ricotta at the bottom of it. Um, it's gonna be so nice with a little bit of that creme anglaise poured on top. Right. Um, and right. I love this method because I don't have to be sitting over the stove. And so this you can strain before and after or just after if you like. I'm just gonna choose to strain it afterwards and this is just going to go straight in the bag and so that's just milk heavy cream milk heavy cream uh one cup of each uh four egg yolks uh and i and i just uh, we were able to find some uh, beautiful vanilla uh so what we're going to do is cook this at 180 degrees for 50 minutes uh you want to make sure that it's food safe as well whatever temperatures you're using all right so let's oh. go ahead and add that in there absolutely so all i need to do is on the left side, I just set the mode that I want. In this case, I preset it for sous vide cooking. And on the right hand side, I dial the degree, the temperature that I'd like, and I set 180 degrees, and that should be good to go. And all I need to do now is set my timing, and I'll go ahead and set that time for 50 minutes, and that would be That's done it. at that point. Just let it do its thing. It's was that it? easy. Set it, set it and <laughs> let it go. Yeah, yeah, let it go. Set just it and let it go. Do the rest of it. It's really great right. when you want to prepare other things and you can just set that and just have your dessert already being prepared, essentially. Yeah. So it's been about 50 minutes. Our caramel glaze is ready to get pulled out. Just a little mm -hmm. touch of the screen there. And, yeah, and then that's going to go on an ice bath and then mm -hmm. inside the fridge, it's going to wait for our nice, beautiful galette once we're done with that. All right, so now for our sweet treat, we're doing a pear and blue, uh, blackberry galette. So I have my pie dough right here that I did the day before, just let it kind of go um, stay in the cooler, get nice and solid, have our butter pieces in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out. David, I'm going to have you slice the pears. Okay. Um, so we have crimson and barlet pears today. We're only using two of them. We're just going to go ahead and fan them out. It's going to look beautiful. And we're going to be baking this on convection bake at 450. So now we're actually not using any steam, right? No steam at all. No we're using this all. just like you would a regular oven. And then what else I did is I took some ricotta cheese and I added it. It's about four ounces of ricotta and then about two ounces of melted um, just semi-sweet chocolate to kind of give it that chocolate flavor. So we're going to have that chocolate, hazelnut, a little bit of pear in there. Okay. All right. So once that's nice and done, you want to kind of keep it at about quarter inch, not too thin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ricotta filling, put it on the bottom, and you can leave this out for a little bit before you start assembling so that way it's a little easier to spread. I'm just going to go ahead and take that, ooh yeah, look at that. And I'm just going to leave like an edge, almost like you're doing a pizza, like you're building a pizza right now. So I'm going to take my pears, I'm just going to kind of fan them out like this, I'm just going to go right here. So the point of this is for it to look super pretty <laughs> once you take it out of the yeah. oven, right? Right. So just kind of separate them. So what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. And I'm kind of just keeping my finger there, letting that dough fold over my finger. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We want that like really nice rustic look. Yeah, you have uh, your little egg wash that you're going to do there. Yeah, I'm do some egg some wash, sugar. some sugar. 
Fantastic. That big crystal sugar. Okay. Just go ahead and put it there. And I have some butter melting on the stove right now that we're gonna go ahead and pour that over. How's that looking, David? Looks pretty good. Yeah, nice and melted? Yep. Okay. Yep. Just about fully melted. Let me know. All right. Just kind of putting that on there. It's gonna give it a nice golden color. There you go. Then I'm gonna take this crystal sugar, just kind of sprinkle it on top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this butter that David nicely melted for me. And then I have a little mixture here. It's about two tablespoons of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a quarter teaspoon of um, cardamom. So ground cardamom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on top. If you wanna help me pick I can, it up. I was gonna say, yeah, let's you, do a teamwork, you need two hands. Hold on, let me get a good handle on it. One, two, two three. three. And Very on nice. there, there you go, beautiful. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven. You wanna go ahead and do the honors for yeah. me? Yeah. Go ahead and open it. Thank you. So we have a little uh, rack in there that we're just gonna set this right on top. It's gonna go in for about 30 minutes, 30 or 35 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Get a nice flaky crust. All right, my galette is pretty much done. Yes. That crust is nice and flaky. Let's yeah, take it out. It looks great. Yeah, it smells really, really good in here. Oh, it looks so beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just put it up here. Wow, let's see the, the bottom. bottom part of that. Can you take a look at that? Yeah, look at that. Nice browning at the bottom. So I'm just gonna do Ooh, kind of like crunch. pie slices. I know, look at that crunch. Ooh. Those pears smell so good. So what we're gonna do is just gonna pour that creme anglaise on top of it. Yes. And then let's do we it. get to try it. <laughs> All right, you do the honors with the creme anglaise. Right. All right, which slice should we get, David? Oh, gosh. Mm. I don't know. That one speaks to me right there. And that, uh, that I was looking too. at this one. All right. Bon Let's appetit. Go. Yes. I like the crust. So oh, I my gosh. The try. crust Look is like... steam coming out of that thing still. Wow. Do not burn your mouth. Maybe not. A, yeah. A bit of that. that is so yes. good. I think the sweetness is like perfect. Mm. You have the natural sugars of the pears. A little bit of top of brown sugar and mm -hmm. cinnamon on top. And those crimson... Those star crimson pears are just so floral and beautiful. Look at that flakiness. Do you see that flakiness? It's oh just goodness. so perfect. All right, Chef <clears throat> David, thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure. I always have pleasure. so much fun with Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Perch, for having me. It was just <laughs> wonderful. Now, if you want to come on in and see this for yourself, our new Gaganel 400 series, you can come visit Costa Mesa or one of our other showroom locations. We have Glendale, Rancho Mirage, um, San Diego UTC, and one of our new showrooms opening up in Cedros. Um, so please go to perch.com, set an appointment um, so you can meet one of our great associates to help you out with anything you need. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> go back in. This is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.